Hi, Paul here. Follow me as I show you how to clean the radiators in your custom loo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your custom loop radiators out using the Mayhem's Blitz Part 1. Now, I must stress this is not for aluminium radiators at all. If you have an aluminium radiator, do not use this kit. Now, we're going to be using the Mayhem's Blitz Part 1. So, obviously, this is an acid. So you have to use your goggles here and your gloves. Okay, how much of a Berkey look? Safety first, safety is number one priority. Obviously, this part here is the instructions. Put on the gloves of the provided by the kit. Mix one part deionized slash distilled water, either will do to a ratio of 250 mils of water. So, so 250 mils of that to 750 mils of water. Add to the radiator, clean up any spills immediately. Don't get it on your paint or your radiator. If you do, clean it up straight away. Obviously, I'm going to grab some towels in a minute. I've left it over there. Tilt the radiator to vent in the air, which means lift it up like that. And obviously leave the cleaning solution in 6 to 12 hours. Obviously these radiators are used, so it is quite important that I um, clean them regularly. Gloves on. There we go. Obviously, it takes a bit of work getting the second glove on, but it's on now. Goggles. Value your eyesight. Use your goggles. Right. 750 millilitres of uh, water. The blitz part one obviously you pour all of this into your water mixture. Now what we do is pop that in there. So you can see it coming up, there we go, a bit too much in there. I haven't spilled it though, it's right up onto the edge. So what I'm going to do is, let's get a bit of toilet tissue and soak that up. Now, what I'm going to do now is, Got these little bungs here that come with some radiators. These ones actually come with a spare reservoir. And seal it up. So once that one's done, this one's turn. Pop that one there. There we go. That's that mess cleaned up. Same mess. Not really a mess, really, but a bit of a dribble. Right. We leave them there to sit. I'm going to dispose of what's left over 
and that's it. That's done. Oh. Well, uh, empty. I'm going to empty these out in the morning before I go to work. Then when I come home from work, I'll do a quick video of what's come out of both radiators. I'll empty one into other. So, until then, bye bye. Well, it's morning time and I've just uh, emptied these radiators before I go to work and fill them with pure water. Because I don't want to leave them 24 hours, I don't want to leave them any longer than 12 hours. I've left them about 10 hours. So, I want to, want to just empty them out and fill them with pure water over his eyes. You never know what damage can be done. Now, this is out of the 240mm. You can see all that went in clear. It's come out looking like that. This is out of this one. Like a 360 mil. You see it's very gunky. I'm assuming that's red because that might have had a bit more coolant in it. I did I did rinse these out. Um I did flush these through before I uh, before I filled them up. So I'm assuming that either that red from what was stuck inside the uh, reserve, the radiator or what, I'm not quite sure. This one's very different colour, but that went through the same process of cleaning than that than the other one did. I filled it and that's like horrible murky brown. So I'm just going to leave these here whilst I'm at work, see if they settle, see what settles at the bottom. And yeah, uh, I'll have a look when I uh, finish work of what's, uh, what's in there. Right, welcome back. I've uh, let the uh, whatever's in here settle over there whilst I've been at work. I've just filled these with rad the radiators themselves with um, pure water before I rinse them out because obviously you don't want to leave it set in there for longer than you're supposed to, which is 12 hours. Obviously, with me working full time, I couldn't leave uh, leave it in there. So I got up this morning, filled them with water. Once I drained them, went to work. Obviously, now I'm going to be emptying them out into this. So I taking the safety precautions. Yet using another um, set of gloves. goggles on because I don't want to get this stuff in my eyes I made some uh, like I said I've made some makeshift filter paper out of the uh, kitchen roll Let's see if we can catch anything see what's in there I'll go put that somewhere to dry to the side. Obviously you can see that water's clear now. Now I've filtered it. Now it's time for the big one. Obviously you don't have to um, filter the contents but obviously I'm intrigued to uh, see what's in there so this one dribble its way through
but you can see that my gloves have gone a different colour that's the acid attacking the gloves so like I say very important that you uh, use these gloves now I'm just going to show you what's in the uh, See that? Not all that. It's come out of the uh, the radiators. I don't know if you can see that. If it's a very particularly good focus, I can't focus on that. But obviously, that gives you an idea. This is the water that I've just cleared out. Obviously, that with them horrible, those horrible colours. Obviously, that's cleared out now. I've filled it out, so they've come out of the radiator. So it's not very good, not very nice. But obviously, the blitz has done its job and cleaned all that gunk and nastiness out of the radiators. So I'll just let them dry for now, and I'll. Uh, but whilst I'm drying, I'm going to rinse the radiators out. We'll show you how I rinse them out in a minute. Well, as you can see, I've brought the um, radiators into the bathroom. Obviously, like I said earlier on, is I filled these with uh, clear water before I uh, went to work. So these is pretty safe. It always seems to be slightly acidic, but it's going to be nowhere near as dangerous as. Uh, the last stuff. So. This for now. Dried out the um, bits of tissue that I used to drain my uh, radiators with. As you can see, if I zoom in, all that uh, gunk nastiness has uh, come out of the. Uh, radiators so the blitz has done its job I'd say obviously the only thing I didn't do was uh, use the pH chart there but I'll be doing that when I have uh, done the blitz part 2 which is this here which is the full system cleaner this is coming up in the second part of the video there'll be a second video coming that will be showing you how to use that Obviously, then I'll show you how to use the blitz paper, the pH chart, to um, make sure that your pH is neutral, because that's what you're aiming for, and use a neutral pH, and uh, yeah, that, that's coming up in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it uh, very informative, obviously, I can't stress enough the, part, the importance of reading the instructions and your... Uh, using all the safety equipment that is provided by Mayhems with this kit. Well, there we go, all done now. 
Don't forget, if you want the best possible results for cleaning your loop, you can, the best practice is to use the um, Blitz Part 2, as that will neutralise any nasties left in your uh, loop. That video is coming up next. Until next time, we'll see you.